guess what today is it is day four of the diy fall wedding series 2021 i hope that you all are enjoying these series that i'm putting together because i love bringing them to you to give you some ideas for your upcoming fall wedding um so today's in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to personalize wedding toasting flutes you know the glasses that the bride and the groom have well i'm going to be showing you how to personalize it using my cricut machine so today's video is going to be a cricut video and also this can be used if you don't have a cricut cutting machine or another cutting machine you can always use a um a metallic marker or a pen um, I know the Dollar Tree have some. You can find them at Walmart and other areas. And you can also um, make the um, personalized glasses with the um, markers also, just in case you do not have a Cricut machine. But if you are in need of a Cricut machine, I am an affiliate with Cricut. All of the information is right down here in the description box. So make sure you go and click on it so that you can purchase your Cricut if you need one. All the other items are listed below. Also, I purchased the wedding flutes from the Dollar Tree. So if you need any wedding flutes, I'm an affiliate of Dollar Tree also. So my link is in the description box. Um, so I will earn a small commission if you purchase from the links and no extra cost to you. All right. So let's get started in this video. Let's go. All right, everyone, so I am here in my office and there's my Cricut machine right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to personalize these wine glasses or um, wedding toast and flutes. These came from the Dollar Tree. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to um, DIY your own wedding um, items, okay? Like I said, these came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using some vinyl and as you see i'm going to be using this cricut vinyl let's see if you can see it this cricut premium vinyl all right and i'm going to be using my cricut cutting machine so remember if you do not have a cutting machine then you can go to the dollar tree and you can purchase some metallic markers if you did not see the video um that i put up tuesday um, then you can look, go back and look at that video because I will show you some metallic markers that I use in order to make the little place card that I put on um, on my little bird cage. So those are, I got, um, I think it was one or two in a pack for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. All right, so you can always get those and you can just write on these, write whatever it is that you want to write. But I'm going to show you how to use your Cricut machine and your vinyl, Cricut vinyl, and wine glasses again these came from the dollar tree in order to make um this very special um toasting flutes for your wedding all right so let's get started so let me turn you around so you can see um what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using um, my cricut i'm going to be in design space so i'm going to show you how i'm going to be doing everything all right so now i am in cricut De design space as you see right here all right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and see if I can find me a design that I would like to put on my cup. I know, you know, when it comes to decorating your cup, you can use any, um, put it pretty much you can put it anywhere. You can put your new last name, you can put your first name, you can put pretty much anything that you want to put on it because it's going to be your cup. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my husband and I, put his name on one cup and put my name on one cup. Therefore, we know that you know, for each cup is ours. And plus, in order to personalize, it makes it really special. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here, right in this area to, let's see. All right, so as you see right here, I have already put, um, this is the font that I'm going to be using. And let me see if I can um, see what this font is. The font that I use for my husband's name is Hello Honey. And the one I'm using for mine is uh, that word there. It's like Zapfino. All right. And the one that I'm using for the date is, again, Hello Honey. All right. So this is the um, the way I chose to do mine. I just put out um, our first initial, well, his first initial and my name. My name is, you know, Aisha, so I put mine. And I put the date that we got married. So I'm going to go ahead and press make it. Thank you. 
All right, so while my vinyl is cutting with my Cricut machine, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these glasses and I have some alcohol here. And this is just a little spray bottle that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna use it and I have some paper towel, all right? So what you do is just take your glass, hope you can see it, and I'm just going to spray the alcohol directly on the glass, okay? Just like so, all the way around it. And this is just to clean it really well to get any you know, any dirt or any fingerprints or whatever off of your glass so that you can get it ready for your vinyl, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to do both of them like that. And, um, all right, that's it. All right, so now as you see, my um, vinyl is done. My Cricut has cut out the wording that I wanna put on my glass. So all I'm gonna do now is weed. And what weeding is, is just to take the extra pieces out that you do not need. And I'm going to be using my um, my weeding tool here. I also have this little thing that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna be using this also. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I have weeded out my, um, my letters and my uh, date. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my transfer sheet, my transfer paper, and just place it over the letters like so to peel them off and just place them on my um, my glass, okay? So what I need to do first is cut these out. Okay, I'm just gonna cut them out just like this. And this is this makes it a little easier for me to um, to put on my cup. Now, a lot of times you don't have to do this. You can do it all in one piece. If that's the way you like to do it or want to do it, that's fine also. But I'm gonna do mine in two separate pieces, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with my husband's name first. I'm just gonna take it and just place it. Just place it directly over his initial all right all right and once i do that let me show you how it looks it looks just like this and this is removable vinyl that i'm using all right this is the only vinyl that i had but you can also use the vinyl that um is non-removable i'm just going to take my scraper tool and just kind of brush it down a little bit just so that it can come off easily. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, as you see here, I'm going to just peel this off. And you see how easy it came off, all right? So now, I want you to see how I'm going to place this on the cup. All right, so I'm trying to bring it in so you can see. All right, so you can have the cup facing you. Of course, it doesn't matter what side you put it on. I'm just gonna put mine directly in front of me, all right? And I'm gonna try to position it like in the middle, all right? So that I make sure I have enough room to place my um, my, num my, uh, my date, okay? So as you see, that's where I put it. You can see that. All right, I'm trying to line it up. And just brush it down just like this so that it will stick. Okay. Now all you have to do is just take it and just peel it off. All right. And you see how beautiful that is? All right. Hopefully you can see this. All right. So let me go ahead and do the date. All right. This is the date. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did. Before, I'm just going to place my transfer paper um, part, um, this date here and I'm just going to place it underneath my name right here. All right. I don't know if you can see it. No, let me see. Okay. Maybe you can see what I'm doing now. Just take it and press it down just like so. All right. So that it will stick. And just pull it off. Make sure the um, make sure the numbers are sticking because you can accidentally pull them off if they're not sticking all the way. 
All right, so it turned out gorgeous. Let's see, that's mine. And that's my husband's. So this is a perfect way for you to do your own DIY um, toasting glasses for your wedding. All right. And like I said before, you can design them any way that you like. But I just decided to keep it pretty simple with the names and the date. All right. So now what I'm going to add at the bottom around the rim, I have some tool. And all I did was just cut a piece off. And I'm just going to tie it around um, the bottom part of it, of the glass. All right. Just like so. You can see I'm just going to take it and just tie it around here. Okay. And just tie it. And this just gives it another, um, you know, a nice little touch of elegance is what I call it. All right. So you can do it however you want to do it. You see how pretty that is? And you just cut this part off. You can cut it how short you want it or how long. It doesn't matter. That's up to you. All right. Let's see how that looks. That is gorgeous. And remember the colors are gold and burgundy. But I just kept this with the gold colors. All right. Okay. All right, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you a part of the Event Decor Designs by Aisha family. All right, so I want you to stay tuned because next, next Tuesday, I will be bringing to you another DIY fall wedding um, series to 2021. All right, so remember, I will be uploading videos every Tuesday and Thursday for the entire month of October. And you do not want to miss them. I hope that you all have a blessed day. And I will see you all in my next video.